I received a buyer referral, but the client has said they aren't ready to buy for a year. How should I stay in touch with them? First off, congrats on getting a referral. I think that so many of us realtors out there think if the buyer is not ready, willing and able to buy right now, I'm going to move on to the next. And we don't put them in some sort of CRM. We don't put them in some sort of contact management database. We don't do anything with them, really. We kind of just say, okay, I'm going to follow up with them in a year. And, and here, I think, is the biz, biggest mistake that Realtors make is that people change their mind all the time. So specifically now. We change our mind every 10 seconds sometimes. And so this buyer who maybe can't afford um, for whatever reason right now or maybe doesn't want to buy right now and, and you let them go or you don't stay in contact with them, here's what I would do. Is I would one, I'd say, hey, you may not be ready now, and I know based on my experience that we probably want to have you talk to a lender. You lose nothing from talking to a lender. They'll give you true perspective on what you're going to need. That way, when you are ready, you know what the down payment is, you know what your purchasing power is, you're going to know what that is. It helps you get ready. And I find success with my buyers who do this early on. That way, when they're ready to buy six months, nine months, a year down the road, they're now not scrambling or their dream's not broken. And so what I would recommend and, and help hopefully inspire you to do is to get your buyer or potential buyer I should say the one that you just got referred to to talk with your preferred lender the lender that you care about the lender that you truly understand the lender that will actually ask the questions the hard questions and get them pre-qualified so that way they understand their purchasing power now and what I've found by doing that is one they're nowhere near ready and they're not a true buyer so I'm putting them in my CRM or my contact management database when they're never going to afford anything and they're going to rent for the rest of their life. Or number two, they actually have the money to buy a house now and they thought they needed much more and actually that year timeline shrunk to three months, six months, nine months. And so you lose nothing by getting your lender involved early on regardless if this person is ready to buy now or in the future.